Ah, this is it. The basement where it happens. <laughs> How's the elevator ride? It was really nice, guys. Good to see you. Good to see you too. All right. There was no bumps, no, nothing. No, 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 it was like a subway ride. Five Very star, smooth. Five star rating? Five star rating. Nice. <laughs> Tonight, our illustrious guest is friend of the show. Yes, our Seth buddy. Myers. So good to be here. All right, the talk show game, is it still fun? Oh, it's the best. Yeah. I, I mean, I can't imagine uh, something I would enjoy this consistently as much as I've enjoyed doing this show. And it gets more fun the longer you do it because yeah. you sort of know what you want to accomplish every night. How less stressful is your show versus being on SNL? Because I was backstage, I've been backstage at SNL. Yeah. And I don't think most people realize, like, it's constant moving parts, scripts are getting edited yeah. like every second. Just, you never know what's about to happen. Yeah, SNL, the stress of SNL is a wonderful thing to live through because then everything after is a little bit easier than it would be if you hadn't done SNL. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, there is a underlying stress to doing a talk show, don't get me wrong, but it's nothing like SNL. What, is, what was your, your favorite thing that you've done on SNL? I like going back and, and watching update features where I was with somebody else mm -hmm. who was being funny. Like, I like that time of just being a straight man and just serving it up, right. you know, to somebody like Bill Hader, or Kate McKinnon, oh, or Bobby yeah, yeah. Moynihan. Uh, that was a lot of fun to watch. Bill Hader's fucking hilarious. I mean, he's an all-timer. He's Mount Rushmore, you know, of S SNL Mount Rushmore. We love you, Bill. <laughs> Did he die? No. Oh, that was kind of, well, he's just that was dark. Like, no, that's if you go like this. I was like, I haven't checked my time. If, if, if you go, we love you, we love you, Bill. We love you, Bill. Yeah, we love you, Bill. Bill. But if you go, if you go, we love you, Bill. That means you're just hoping he's watching. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the, it's directional. Yeah, that's yeah. It. Gotcha. <laughs> so, yo, we love you, Bill. He's like, I don't know what, uh, I don't know what's going on. What are you watching now? What am I watching now? What are you watching? What do you when the Seth Meyers goes home watching not well, Seth Meyers products? Well, I watch Jesus and Mero. I do watch Jesus and Mero. He does. He came and he I has do, a recap uh, last, last I, night. I, and I, I, I call that, I don't know if you heard me say, you, call uh, you told a, a moving out Billy Joel joke. A dozen of his motorcycles were vandalized. Damn. Are you saying some of his motorcycles were moving out? Fire. You said uh, white people like that. White people love Billy Joel. With that said, I told the exact same joke in rehearsal and it bombed even with white but people. But see, it's different because <laughs> here's the difference. What's the difference? Because people look at you and they're like, of course he knows, of course about he Billy, knows Joel. Billy Joel. Because people don't expect those cultural references from us. I uh, phonetically tweeted like Pearl Jam lyrics one time and people were like, oh my God, even flow, bro. Really? Oh, it's like, yeah, I've heard, yeah. I've, heard, I've, heard, I've heard that song. That was a very popular song. I bet that's very exciting for Pearl Jam. Like, oh yeah, no, shout to Eddie Vedder. Imagine yeah. Eddie Vedder is just we, making tea. Shout out to Eddie Vedder. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Eddie. We love you. Wow. <laughs> that just shows you how I know nothing. I was like, yeah, imagine Eddie Vedder's making tea. You're like, he's not. By the way, I love that you guys wow. want credit for, you know, there are cultural references we know, like Pearl Jam lyrics, and then you also are like, is Eddie Vedder alive? <laughs> Listen, you can't ask for a lot. So you're not like fully caught up. You know, we're, we're like Pearl Jam super fans. I'm not sure. If he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, we're we super are, fans. We are, we're the boyfriend in the relationship that makes the minimal effort. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. But the relationship is so bad, you have to accept anything we give. Think of it as like reading like your wife's Wikipedia page. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yo, early life, general interest. And you're like, hey, you want to go see the Eagles today? Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? And then she's just like, oh my God, you know, did you know, how'd you know? And you, but you're like, yo, I read your Wikipedia page. I, uh, this is a true story, I took um, my wife to an Eagles concert mm -hmm. at Madison Square Garden. Mm -hmm. And uh, they sort of did their whole, they started with like early Eagles and it just went chronologically. Mm -hmm. And then it was getting into later Eagles stuff. You know, we're in the 90s now. Uh, not the uh, richest era of, of Eagles, Eagles music. music. Yes. And I said, during statement. a song, I said to my wife, hey, uh, since this is the Eagles we don't like, what do you say we, we bounce out of here? And my wife said, this is the song we walked down the aisle to at our wedding. Ooh, shit! <laughs> I had not made the connection. Yeah! <laughs> Yo, you gotta wow. pick something very generic. I picked Endless Love, Lionel Richie, yeah. Diana Ross. Like, there's no way well, see, that's gonna come out the of the club. Well, see, the fact that you say I picked, like, this is the issue. The reason yeah, I like didn't a... remember that song is she picked oh, it. She picked oh. it. It meant nothing to us. It was a song she liked. Oh, okay. And then, um, yeah. If you were able to pick, what song would you have chosen? Oh, that's Not Billy Joel, of course. It's a Billy yeah, Joel. Yeah, moving out. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you had to be a big shot. <laughs> ding, shot. I'm like, yo, bing, you know. Go get him, Seth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah do something more. Whoa, <laughs> let's go, Rangers. <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> think, you think Let's Go, Rangers is a lyric in all Billy Joel songs? <laughs> <laughs> 
Like, yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess my favorite Billy Joel lyric would be, let's go Rangers. Yeah, it's, it's a touching power ballad. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. <laughs> Uptown girl in a Rangers jersey going up. Yeah, yeah see, you're, you know more than that. He has more banners than every New York team that plays in the Garden. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's not that hard. That's <laughs> that's not that hard. Shout out to him. Wait a second. Can I grab a little water? That was a nice request because usually people are like, why the fuck is so hot down here? You need to tell you need to tell Showtime to get you a fucking AC. I was like, yeah, we have one. I think that was Ice Cube, yeah. Ice Cube was like, yo, it's hot as a motherfucker down here. I was like, oh man. We were making a joke with uh the Ice Cube about the big three that washed NBA League. Yeah. It was like what other great washed people in history yeah. would be in it. And we were like, Jaleel White, but he has to play as Urkel. <laughs> that was it. That's it. And so, that was on the show or That was on podcast? our show. Yeah. So he goes on some random radio station. He's like, you tell those two fat boys, two I'll chunks. see them on Any a basketball time. court. Anytime. And That's I was like, first of all, we're not fat. Secondly, we're <laughs> not physically fit to play basketball. So that's <laughs> not happening, my friend. So I smoke 40 bucks a day. I don't okay. think I can run up and down a basketball court twice. So guess what, Jaleel? Now you're banned. Fine, he He's like, I did more than just Jaleel. I'm, I was more than Urkel. I was like, were you really, though? I mean... Like, even if you do other stuff, there's still... Oh, Urkel's playing that role now. If he was on Law & Order... He'd be Detective Urkel. That's yeah. how we describe. He it. did that thing. Of, you know, I do think when you're a guy like that, you get jacked. Mm -hmm. You just try anything to change. Yeah, yeah. but then he's up. just jacked Urkel. Yeah, yeah. You see him on screen. He did get he super. Jacked, yeah, yeah, he's like, yo, fuck, fuck with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, uh, you, I, I remember the phrases too, asshole. And then you, you both said, okay. Yeah. Imagine getting knocked out in a club bar Urkel. He stands over you. He's like, did I do that? Yeah, I did that. <laughs> wow. I did that. Your girl got to leave you right away. Then he just leaves with you and yeah. Laura. You want some cheese? Huh? You want some cheese? Yeah, I did that. <laughs> We're going to wrestle my Carl Winslow. <laughs> the best part, the best part, the security guard's like 22 years old, does not get the references. Like, all right, all right, you two old people, yo, get yo, it out of here. Yo, big man, big man. Yo, y'all old motherfuckers, get the fuck <laughs> out. Yo, come on. I, I ain't going to talk to you again. Come on, let's go. For TGIF. Yes, yes, sir, you did do that. <laughs> you did do that. That's why you have to leave. Uh, oh, sad. Yeah, what shows are you? What other shows are you watching? So there's two th two shows we rewatched: uh, The Sopranos, and then I'd never seen Sex in the City. My guy. Yeah, from I was the just beginning. watching it. Uh, okay. On Saturday. I wish I'd watched it when it aired because, and this is with no exaggeration, I think I would have understood uh, women better if I'd watched it. Yeah, but then you're just like, because as a guy, you're just like, yo, guys are insane. And then you're just like, oh, women are like that too. Oh yeah. wow. Oh, we're all nuts. Yeah. yeah. I think in general, the advice I would give to uh, any young man out there is if there is a cultural show that uh, every woman you know is watching, mm -hmm. watch I think show. watch that show. Yeah. I don't think it'll hurt to watch that show. It's not just, not to be like, I watch that show and to use it to like pick up, uh, pick them up at a bar or anything, but just know what they're uh, uh, watching. So on Late Night with Seth Myers, you do a closer look. As an homage, we're going to do a mad closer look. So these are zoomed in pictures of New York stuff. All right, and you got to guess what they are. Okay, mm. that is a, a manhole cover. Mm. It is a Black Air Force One! <laughs> wow, wow. AKA the preferred shoe of felons in wow. New York. Yeah, okay, great. What is, a, what is the appeal to a felon of this shoe? Is well, there... let, me, let me point it out to you. Okay, great. Yeah. First of all, it's all black. Yeah. So it doesn't scuff easy. It's a sneaker, yet you can wear it to a uh. formal case. You can wear it to church, you can wear it to a baby shower, okay. you can wear it to court. So. <laughs> It's just, it's any occasion. Any okay, occasion. Gotcha. Also, it's very affordable, and even when it gets dirty, you can still wear them. Okay, good. Gotcha. That's big because if you're living a scumbag life, they're gonna get dirty. Okay. Mm, that's like a, I don't know, like a, a Game Boy. <laughs> a Game Boy? <laughs> it's a Game Boy, yeah, yeah. It's a Game Boy. What is this? <laughs> It's okay, so this is, uh, yeah. yeah, they said you could find these sort of bodega yeah. uh, right pills. at the counter. Bodega yeah. right. Pills. And right. they put them at the, uh, right at the checkout because yep. it's a thing you'd forget. Right. You right. know you, uh, you know how many times you go out for dick pills and then you yeah, come home like, and you're oh, like, oh, I totally forgot. No, yeah, orange yeah, yeah. juice, bodega dick pills. <laughs> yeah, ah. I need that white panther. Nothing's yeah. worse than yeah. getting home and your wife is like, did you forget the white panther, Seth? No. Yeah. Oh. I Seth. That, uh, that panther has the same expression my wife would have if I told her I bought dick pills. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, I'm not mad, I'm disappointed. And also do and all- you, And you want to do what? <laughs> For who? Do most dick pills make, give you headaches? <laughs> Are we, yeah, no headache. It says it really big. <laughs> really? Like, yeah, I, I guess if you buy the dick pills, you're like, oh, it, let uh, me get the one with no headaches? I think it's, it says if you take it, she'll, she won't tell you she has a headache. <laughs> <laughs> 
It says number one formula exclusively designed for sexually active uh, for sexually active men. Now is that maximum or it's, double? It's triple, uh, triple maximum. maximum. Triple, triple maximum. Triple triple maximum. Triple seven, maximum. Seven days long. Yeah. If you take a dick pill in your heart for seven days, seven that's, a, that's days a hate crime. Actually. I would okay? like to point out you can't be triple maximum. Right. No, maximum, maximum means the most. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yo, get it to the top. Now <laughs> no, triple, triple it. Top. Triple it. Uh, um, get this one. Those are. Uh, uh, Rudy Giuliani's teeth. Oh, <laughs> that was amazing. That was incredible. Wow. 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 Shout out to Rudy's dentist. Rudy. Yes. Oh, oh my God. Uh, wow. Rest in peace, uh, Rudy's original teeth. Wow. <laughs> I, uh, I think that's very depressing. That means uh, I just look at Rudy Giuliani's teeth too much. Oh, yeah. yeah those that, teeth are just like. Yeah. Uh. How do you have rubble in your mouth? That's, yeah. Those are fish tank rocks that he put on. Uh. <laughs> Jeff, we can talk to you all day. We know you got things to do. Thank you for coming and talking to us. And we ask every guest, what would you like your neon sign to say? Um, you guys, obviously, you know, we talked about it. We were at the Critics' Choice Award. Mm -hmm. uh, I was very honored to win. I was honored to be nominated with you guys. And it's not the same, but you guys are Seth's Choice. Shout out to the homie Seth Myers in the building. Shout out to Eddie Russell. and Bill. Shout out to Eddie and Bill. Odin Kirk. Do we see you? And whoever else we killed by accident. Give it up for Seth Myers, y'all. <laughs>